variety of hot air and commercials, however righteous the cause or lucrative the product. Nobody ever heard you use the microphone as a pulpit. No anti-war rents, no hymns to peace, no oaks to the trees and all things organic, no ego deaths or born againnesses, no devils denounced, no gurus glorified, no dogmatic howlings that I ever caught wind of. In fact, your steadfast denial of a dogma was as close as you ever came to having a creed. And to the very end, old timer, you were true to that creed. No commercials, no trendy spins, no bayings of belief. And if you did have any dogma, you surely kept it tied up under the back porch where a smelly old hound belongs. I guess that's what I mean about a loud silence, like, like Mac Michelangelo said about sculpting. The statue exists inside the block of marble. All you need to do is chip away the stone you don't need. You are always chipping away at the superficial. It was the false notes you didn't play that made that lead line so golden and pure. It was the words you didn't sing. So this is what we're left with, Jerry. This golden silence. It rings on and on without any hint of let up. On and on. And I expect it will be ringing years from now. Because you're still not playing falsely. You're still not singing. Things go better with Coke. Catch you later down the line, Jerry. You can't leave it at 95.